Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I have another Billy the Kid film to review for you folks. Yes sir. Yeah, I could have been at a western themed strip club right about now, but instead, I'm reviewing these movies I guess. So, what I'll be reviewing another Billy the Kid film as you can see, obviously folks. So why not? It's from my... 20 movie collection here that I have, so I figured I would do it again, folks, since I've, I've seen quite a few of these already as it is. So, I thought I would review another one, and again, this would be a rather short review because of this. The film is short, and it's called Beat of the Kid Trapped, yes sir. So, it's not going to be a long review, folks, because the film itself is rather short. But nevertheless, as always, let's get into the plot, shall we? So, let's begin. Oh yes sir. So in this particular film is imprisoned and sentenced to death for crimes they did not commit be the kid Fuzzy and Jeff break out from jail. So again Billy the kid along with two friends are in trouble. So of course the three escape from this particular place to discover that there have been three imposters who dress just as them committing these murders. So on their mission to clear their name and bring the imposters to justice, the trio discover the town where the outlaws were given uh, so something in exchange for paying the legal protection. So some crazy stuff is going on in this particular film, folks. So the film itself is actually pretty good if you ask me, folks. It's another pretty solid one. I enjoyed it. And it's pretty even pace, I guess you can say. And overall, it's a pretty solid film, I guess you can say. Because I do like the pacing, of course. I do like the little action moments it has. And, yeah, of course, I'm reviewing something that hardly anyone heard about, of course. But, anyway. Yeah, we get to see that the characters are pretty likable in here, folks. So, the film starts off with a trio in jail accused of murder. When someone mysteriously breaks them out, so of course we get to see that those bunch of crazy stuff going on in its own little way. And I did like the story, of course, and I did like the bar fight scenes, of course, that it, this film has, and the very detailed props that this film has as well. And the images here are pretty well framed, I guess you can say. So overall, a really well executed film, and I do highly suggest anyone watch it because it's overall not that bad of a movie, really. Yeah, it's just extremely old, folks. This film was released during the early 1940s. 1942, to be exact, so it's, yeah, it's quite old. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad movie, per se. It's quite good, folks. And yeah, it's pretty exciting in its own way. The action now slows down. And it definitely has this great rust and fear to it. Yeah, it's better than a lot of the stuff nowadays, I, I say that, that's for sure. They don't make westerns like they used to, honestly. They really, really don't. But anyway, I will say I'd give this one a shot if you haven't seen it yet, because it's honestly rather enjoyable, yeah, in my eyes. I do recommend it, because the overall film is actually pretty good, folks. It'll get an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It gets a 6.8 out of 10 for me, folks. So, because, at the end of the day, this film is actually not that bad, really. So, another recommendation from this movie collection, folks. Yes, sir. So, anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, folks. Yes, sir. I still got a few more to review, just so you know. Oh, yeah, folks.